Z, Y, Z, Z, and R is number one fast switch muscle fibers. Justin Geese, you're the runner up. Hello, Kaizen. Michael Tennis Balls, Barbecue Sauce, Agent One, Jeff B. Lewis, Iden Thomas. Jerry Nichemkin. Glad you can join us. Hello, Al. Bill plays 2.0. The Behemoth. I've yet to get my pictures. Nikki Banks. That's good that you say that. Hayden. Big J still has a great form. It's very explosive. He uses excellent technique. What is Jay Cutler doing right now? Well, since he's about two or three hours behind, hopefully getting a meal. Hello, James. I'm feeling better since I reduced my dosages and cleared the water out with Lasix. I can tell you that. Al Jackson, I think Jay's going to look better and better in the weeks to come. And he's putting on solid muscle because when you get out of the hospital, you're atrophied. You're not going to put on fat. So that weight is muscle cells filling up with glycogen. And he had a hell of a lot of muscle. He still does. So hopefully he'll stay at his target weight. But as long as he's training, that's a good thing. Truth one, we got the water here. And I hope you do too as well. Now, yes, Logan, see, I'm open for filming with anyone at this point. Justin Geese, Anavar is good. However, multiple dosages during the day, like any other oil, oral, will decrease your appetite. Shouting out Big Brother in Canada from a mole Dillon. Megafar, you still see the cookie gutters doing the two rep crap. <laughs> That's a good way not to progress. I'm old Dylan. I will be going to Toronto very soon. Thoughts on father saying you do rack pulls because your mobility is too bad for you to do real deadlifts. Well, yeah, he's right in that extent. And my abdominal wall is in the way of getting down low like that. Some people have that problem. It could be tight hamstrings, but I do believe rack deads can build muscle better. And it keeps the tension on it because I don't hit the floor at all. Or I don't hit it on the pins on the rack. So I'm keeping continuous tension on the back. And it's going to hit more of the back, which is what I want. I think training off the floor, you're going to hit a lot more glutes and hamstring, which is fine. And obviously, if you're a competitive deadlifter, but nothing to me builds size from the traps to the rhomboids, the latissimus dorsi, the lower back, and it does work the hamstrings as well. So always had very successful results from it. Of course, I was doing six, seven plates at the time for close to 10. It's great interacting with the maniacs, Philly. There's no fans here. They're all maniacs. Sean East, I eat two, three garlic cloves every night with my salad. Who knows, Scat Man? You might have a little surprise coming your way. I 
one day I'm going to meet Christina Buckley, that's for sure. Nikki, maybe a little fat mass, a little water mass, but never want to lose muscle mass or even think that way ever, especially when you get older. I'll explain that in another live. Thanks, Nikki. It is improving. We all miss Donald Trump. I'm old Dylan. If you haven't seen my oral hygiene tutorials, I will do a live very soon one day. Ivan Thomas, recovery is an individual thing. Uh, I would definitely do the deadlifts first if you're doing the same in a workout. You could do it twice a week. Just see how your body responds to it. <clears throat> yes, I know Chef Dave, nice guy. <clears throat> Barbecue sauce says, when you see maniacs, see what the cookie cutter's doing, the opposite is incorrect. We simply don't do the opposite. That's the easy way. We walk our own path, not just doing the opposite. Very good point, barbecue sauce. Garlic and honey is a great way to prevent getting sick, as well as sunlight. However, I want to talk about tonight's live. I've done a lot of thinking about this over the years. And most of us, are guilty of using these techniques. I myself am too in the past. And the important thing is to identify those activities you're doing. And just as barbecue sauce pointed out just now, we walk our own path. And that's the main thing of making this decision. But some of these behaviors to me have been standout cookie cutter behaviors that young boys, even men, grown men, think makes them more masculine. And in most cases, it doesn't really require much effort. It's all show and no go. So, hello, Robert Banks. Sounds good. Get something easily digestible. And thank you for your response today and your father's. I'm looking forward to that. Mark, you won't regret it so much. You will look back as a learning experience. However, don't use you going on partying like hell as a way to justify that because a lot of tragic and permanent things may happen when you go on party like that. Yes, everybody saw the big J's return. It's on, it's sick, it's piss and on Jay's Instagram, good stuff. Now, a lot of guys use, and they start off with the way they dress, whatever that may be these days. I think it was trying to dress like a thug or trying to dress like let me say what a rapper wears, and I guess they think that's masculine. Also, a lot of guys, whatever they, whether they do their hair, whether it's mohawk haircuts, things like that, long hair, uh, sometimes a shaved head like mine, or any type of facial hair, a lot of mental. fashion themselves after that and groom themselves in that way because they think that's a masculine look. That's a, a cookie cutter way to look at it, but it's true. Also, you know, talking about piercings, whatever part of the body, and then started with the left ear, I, don't know, I would say back in the 60s, 
and the 80s was extremely popular when I was in uh, junior high to high school to, to have one although m many few jocks had one and you know we had the big freak and the jock thing or the jock and the burnout that was what we had and of course you had your misfits too in high school and everyone was a part of that but the left ear piercing which unfortunately I fell into right after I graduated and I had it for like a few hours until my father ripped it out. So that was, I'm glad he did. So that was the end of that. <laughs> That's right, Kaiser Productions. I'm grateful that. Uh, tattoos, of course, have been way, way back longer than that. I mean, it goes back to pirates, uh, guys in the military, sort of traditional, maybe different types of uh, gangs or whatever, until the uh, average Joe decided that, that was a masculine thing to do. And as you can see, it really requires no effort to get it done. And the tattoo removal industry has improved by leaps and bounds and if anybody regrets it, just get it taken off and use it to others, show others to learn your lesson that that's just not the way to go. Thoughts on Tony Mandarich, I could take a whole live, but Hayden Thomas thought tattoos first originated in Florida post office. What would my, my hairstyle look if, be like if I had hair? Uh, I would like to say, well, when I did have hair, as you can look at the bench video with me and Andrew Kalora, I had this simple Ronald Reagan parted to the side here. I would try to look as conservative as possible with it. I like that conservative look in my early 20s, believe it or not. Uh, clean cut look. Another thing men have done to make, make themselves appear more masculine is change the tone of their voice. I see a lot of people using deep voices or cookie cutter thug voices, if you want to call it that, some type of ghetto street slang. It's all the same. Or they might use a type of uh, Northeast Italian accent. You know, I just see right through that. And another re thing that a lot of people do is they it's a lot of s verbalization. It's not only a very loud voice, but it's saying their affiliations with certain gangs, whether it be a motorcycle gang, a street gang, uh, MMA school or something like that, or publicly stating the uh, disciplines of martial arts they use over and over again and out loud and on on the internet. We know who they who they are, and having others back them up, saying, "Oh, I saw this person do this and that," and. I've heard it all, I've seen most of it all, and it's a lot of self-aggrandizement at the very least, so. And obviously cars, you know, a loud car, removing the muffler or something like that, or some of those wheels that bounce up and down and you've seen some cookie cutter, so-called internet muscle men on the West Coast. They're the worst ones of all. You've seen them. I'm not going to even mention the names. Uh, driving around in cars and not them or bragging about their car. I mean, that's actually, 
that's something guys did in the 90s and you know you could look on the internet and see a car any kind of car and you know some people are into that but I'd rather be at like uh, Mr. Crown Vic from Atlanta Georgia who customizes cars and does all the work himself so Joey Garbina says what about the guys who like women what about it if you like women number one piece of advice I could tell you is to be confident and don't take no for an answer make a girl laugh make her feel comfortable What would be my dream car, Mark Schneider? Something that never breaks down, is good on gas, and can fit me comfortably. When I go to the work, gym, places to earn money, and grocery stores only. And probably a self-driving car too, so I wouldn't have to drive, I could eat in the car, or sleep in the car and grow in the car. Would be my dream car. Yes, Jerry Garb, you know, you say that girl's a fan. Well, I'm a fan of her, too. That was a nice video. Thanks. Smooch, he says, is a peanut butter sandwich, banana, and glass of milk a good meal? It's okay. However, it'd be a good post-workout meal, but try to add some little more protein. And maybe you want to sprinkle some New World Nutritionals protein on that peanut butter. Queen's Jim says, what about the guys who try and be as big as possible and that scares people? Yeah, I was definitely guilty of that. Not meaning to scare people, but just to stand out. But I think that's a good quality because the things I said earlier, anybody could do. You know, a two-year-old three-year-old girl can get her hair cut a certain way, get a piercing, get a tattoo, uh, talk about how tough she is or what MMA school she goes to. Unless she gets on hormones, she won't be able to grow a beard though. But Thoughts on cold approaching women? What's the best way to do it? Walk up to her, look her in the eyes and say, you have beautiful eyes. Try it sometime. AHRS Breen, welcome to the live. Thoughts on medieval, medieval combat sport, basically grown men in knights costumes, fighting with dull swords. I could see doing it once, but doing that on a regular basis? <laughs> I don't know about that. Better off eating, sleeping, and growing and learning than praying around with swords. Hey, I just had an idea pop into my head. Does anybody think that maybe a man who remained nameless is conducting medieval combats with night costumes in their backyard? Istre has a great suggestion. Put a hot dog in that peanut butter and that bun. There you go. There's a pre-workout meal. When's the best time to train cardio after heavy sugar binge? Uh, no. Cardio should be done on an empty stomach in the morning. A heavy sugar binge is best after training. And then that glycogen will fill up your muscles, butter. Other than that, don't go for a heavy sugar binge just out of the blue. That's the time to do it after the workout. And don't make a heavy sugar binge and try to put training cardio behind it. The last time I had pizza, J Masters crap, I, I can't remember.
Martin Hernandez, you can watch the live. I mean, you can watch the replay, I'm sorry. But welcome to the live, Martin. Kai Ewing asked, my thoughts on Darren Millman's engagement to Sammy. Never heard of her. Blessed heart, yes. There's only one peanut butter in my book. It's the kind they grind right up from peanuts. Usually some most grocery stores and Whole Foods will have it. That's it. There's no other peanut butter in my book. Yes, I watch the Stray Strength Lives every once in a while. Thomas Cheney, my father trained six, seven days a week. He did exercises three times a week. He didn't know back then. That was the 70s and 80s. He was 6'4", 235, 240. He did the basics, bench presses. He had an incline. Didn't have any cables. So he did bench rows. He had a nice big bench high off the floor, an old fashioned York bench where he had a box underneath it where you could pull it right up into a bench row where you're laying flat. It was very comfortable. You just pull up into the steel parts on the bench, under the bench. And he had, that was the first exercise he had me do because I had low back pain. And I was 13, you know, he's telling me because my lower back's weak. And sure enough, that movement strengthened my whole back and took away the pain in two months. And I got hooked on training after that. The chosen one said the bullies at his school are beating him up. What can I do? <laughs> I hate to hear anybody being ganged up on, but my only advice to you is next time somebody lays a hand on you, you punch him harder than hard as you can in the nose. And don't try to fight all three or four or five or ten. Just make sure you get one. Concentrate on him and keep bashing his nose in till it's a pulp of blood. And I guarantee you that bullying will stop. Joey Garbino, thoughts on Botox? Uh, Mike O'Hearn's obviously on that, as you can see recently. And I think it produces a fake look. Yes, Eric Bugenhagen's pretty impressive. Very impressive lifter. Nice, nice home gym setup too. What are my thoughts on crypto? I really have no opinion on them as I never really investigated them. Maybe you can talk to Big Lou on that. He knows a lot about that. Kai Ewing, I want to shout out your dad, Millman, on flying his spaceship. Would Big Tony last in the today's NFL scheme? If you're referring to Tony Mandarich, he certainly would have. I mean, that kind of that comeback he made was unbelievable. And it just gets to show what heroin addiction will do, not only to a, the average person, but an elite athlete. Fernando Castrella, welcome to the live. He, he would love to see Brad in a knight costume swinging a table knife. Yeah, you know, like a butter knife. <laughs> it's sick, it's piss. There's the man, the man of the hour. I'm surprised you didn't do my impersonation of Brad the other day. One of your quick little clips. <laughs> Blahina's dad took his brother and him to the Packers training camp for summer vacation in August 89. The day after Tony signed his contract, we got to see him and he signed autographs for myself and brother. Wow. He must have been so elated at that time. Do you think he was high on heroin because he did said as he started, he was doing that immediately. 
See, that's why I'm like, I don't like PED testing at all. You take a guy like Tony, who was juiced to the gills at Michigan State, and he was fun to watch. Lean, one of the fastest, strongest linemen ever. And go ahead and, and PED test him. Now, I don't think he would have got on heroin if, it, if they still let him do his PEDs. I think he wouldn't have got it. He knew he was going to have to deal with it, and he did stop the PEDs. And you can see the results of that. Not only that, the mental results. Chosen one, I give you sound advice. That's a smart thing to do. That's the thing I would do. Because they're removing the liability. They touched you. You don't let anybody touch you. Butters. If you're going to do that, do it after you weight train. That's all. Do it after you weight train. You, the, the thought should never in your mind. You should never even want to eat that at any other time. Actually, that's a, a great technique to use to replenish glycogen is having dessert after a workout when you're gaining size. Me and Meow Man, I, we used to do that all the time. We used to eat those big... Uh, Hagen Dazs ice creams. We used to get them for discounts when they had an Albertson store. Uh, yeah, I did eat the potato salad, James. It was actually pretty good. And getting back to the... F Cookie cutter forms of masculinity. It's guys that carry knives and guns and have to tell everybody. The reason you carry a knife or a gun is for protection. And what's the point in telling anybody? It's just very cookie cutter. A knife or a gun is something you'd never want to use. But if you have to, you're glad it's there. So why is everybody telling everybody? Because they think they're a tough guy. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate that. Mark, hopefully I will get an invite to Bradford Manor for UFC 280 in September. I know there's going to be a really rough crowd there, but hey, Robert Banks says, whatever happened to Goddess Hazel? You know, I even forgot who that was. There's so many girls I called Goddess. That's another thing. That's my little technique to make a girl laugh and get in her mind is call him a goddess. So I didn't Give us further detail on Cassidy's recent video. Martin, one of my, one of the most impressive bodybuilders of today. Is this the real Martin Fitzwater from Texas? Martin the Martian. That's the look I liked. I like the haircut, the conservative. Look, that's how I had mine. We're honored to have you, Martin Fitzwater, and hopefully see you soon with the freaks in the bodybuilding world. And you're one of them, and you're coming strong. And I'm very impressed with you and your finished training. Thank you, Trey. Do I think running test EQ and MPP is too many compounds for a second cycle? Of course. Take it slow. Get as much as you can out of each cycle. Uh, if it's your second cycle, go with the EQ. Uh, your joints really shouldn't have too many issues if you're on a second cycle or even a third or fourth or fifth cycle. And save that NPP while a great anabolic, 
it's even it's phenomenal for joint pain which will increase your strength when you don't have joint pain so use it when you start hey say my knees hurt my hips hurt my elbows hurt my shoulder joints hurt then delve into the nandrolones but most cases there's no need to use more than two definitely three items especially at your level thoughts on Lyle Alzado very tough very inspirational and if you were an offensive lineman I think that's the most intimidating look to be lined up against Lyle Alzado when he played for the Raiders the way he looked in that uniform with that hair coming out of the back big arms and forearms and that beard and the way he talked to people. Look it up. Actually, look up Lau Alzado goes against Anthony Munoz, who was the Hall of Fame offensive tackle, the Cincinnati Bengals. And watch, watch Lau give him the business. Kaizen Productions thoughts on Mr. G's Met Stack. Yeah, he's, well, he's getting up there. He's going to be 65. So my question is, he's so, in, he's training so much. He's so intent on getting the ring, getting in the ring. Why doesn't he get a, a more suitable opponent for himself? Not only one that has much more experience than I, but it's closer to his age and body weight. <laughs> Do I still recommend licking the floor before a workout to get fired up? Well, if you can't flip the switch when you're in that gym, then do whatever it takes or have your training partner make you lick the floor. But you need to flip that switch when you get in that gym. And remember, really the worst thing you could do is start laughing or get into a giggling fit. And, you know, find humor in something or try to make your training partner laugh. I mean, laughter will kill your strength and focus. Califu says, why do you make up in the middle? Why do I wake up in the middle of the night? My either you just hungry or craving sugar most of the time. Because your blood sugar is lower. You probably do need to eat something. However, if you're craving sugar, that means your metabolism's a little out of whack. It means that you're a sugar burner. I can tell you every time I train for contests and most all other competitors will tell you the same thing, you're craving fats because you're burning fat. I never crave sugar during a pre-contest diet ever. It was always fat. I always craved like the big bacon cheeseburgers or pizza, big cheese pizza with pepperoni and sausage. I never craved anything sweet. Matter of fact, I would take a sweet potato, peel it, rinse it off with water, coat it with cinnamon, coat it with a plastic wrap, put it in the microwave for about seven minutes. And it would come out tasting like German chocolate cake. And I used to have those as some of my morning, morning carb sources. And I highly recommend them as a cinnamon. It's very good with insulin sensitivity. Not too much, though. I don't think it's that good for the kidneys. Christopher K. I said, Tony was talking about the benefits of drinking semen. <laughs> Once again, Lenny was head of the curve. Ugh. Mystery man, Onyx is outside. She likes when the uh, sun goes down because she's a prime hunter and being dark, a black cat. She's quite a lot of kills out there. Anywhere from what I've seen, killed two iguanas lizards, birds, a big black snake, a bat, and 
funny that she never killed any mice or chipmunks or anything anything like that. Or squirrels. Well, squirrels are pretty tough, so. Martin Fitzwater. Honored to have you as a longtime Misfits fan. Competing in the Texas Pro. Give him hell, Martin. Very impressed by your intensity and your character. And I'm going to promote you as general in the Misfit Maniac Army. Hacker Freak says 150 grams of protein a day is torture. No. It's not. I eat, I've eaten 200 grams of protein in a meal. Not, I mean, not all the time, but come on, a day Hacker Freak over six meals? Where do you get legit, legit gear from? I don't know. I can tell you where some people get it. They get it online. Uh, they get it from a dealer. You know, you could go by the reviews of it, but there are places you can get it analyzed at, believe it or not. Jason Blaha, another big name in the industry. What are my tips for hooking up with she -mails? Well, I'm talking the old Lenny, the perverted Lenny, the demonic Lenny. This is the new Lenny who has given that up. Uh, it's a few bucks in your pocket, to be honest. <laughs> now, as far as meeting them out in public, uh-uh. She mails are she mails for one reason, and that's to make a buck. Just like any female escort, stripper, what have you. Cyril Figgis is break the record for the world's loudest fart. I really have gas because I'm not eating the amount of carbs I used to. Uh, sometimes I could go for weeks without farting, to tell you the truth. Yes, Butters, that Phil Donahue WWF interview with Vince McMahon, and it was one of the guys alleging, alleging sexual harassment from male promoters. Definitely watch it. It's, it's quite comical. And then you see superstar Billy Graham turning on Vince McMahon. I just don't get it why those guys badmouth him. There's a reason he doesn't do guaranteed contracts in healthcare. You got to have some type of responsibility. But look at the money that guys made when they're in a the federation. What did they do with it? Partied. Great quote, quick pump from Hawk and the Road Warriors. Thanks, Jake. I'm going to talk to me, oh, man, about that. Tips for bicep growth. Increase your macronutrients, increase your calories. That's where the growth comes from. A lot of times, you might have to cut back. Like I said before, best way to big arms is barbell rows, chin-ups, pull-downs, dips, presses. That's how you get big arms. Sure, some isolation movements here and there, but... 
Is that really going to give you the growth? Just get a great blood pump. Stick to standard training. And if you're not getting the growth, you have to look at the diet. That's the raw materials. That's where it's coming from. If you look like a freak like General Mark Fitzwater, you would be amazed how much food and calories he eats in a typical day, even when dieting. So it's a complete program of eating, sleeping, and training. Of course, PEDs, but most people do well without them, especially teenagers to a point. Thank you, Jake H. I appreciate that. But in this case, it'll be a homemade cheeseburger. Thanks again, Jake. Chestnut 7, how are you? Galore made a special dish for me, the coconut, the cookie cutter coconut curry chicken. Quick Pump, another great clip I suggest everybody look up online. Road Warrior Hawk threatens to rape Ric Flair. Type that in. I think the live I impersonated Bard was within the last four but I think I'll make a quick, great, quick clip. I got a lot of compliments on it in my DMs. PJ Braun loves cats and hopefully in prison, they allow them to have a couple stray cats. I see some prisons are allowing people to have pets. I think a couple nice kittens to share the cell with PJ would definitely cheer him up. And I've seen prisons in uh, Russia where guys are doing life and they're allowed to have a pet, a kitten. I don't know how fair it is to the kitten, though, to be locked up in a cell, but I guess it's better than being dead or something. Definitely going to work on that big shitter. Meow Man and Big Lenny Live. How often do I check my sugar levels, Dan St. Fernando? I really don't like sticking myself with blood sugar monitors. I'm off the GH now. I'm off the MK677. Most people on that therapy will get a false reading. Their blood sugar's through the roof, and then the nurses, whatever, freak out. And that's why I almost went completely hypoglycemic the last time I was in the hospital. The nurse kept administering Lispro, which is the same thing as Umalog. And I was started breaking out in a cold sweat, unlike anything I've ever felt before. And I was coming, coming unconscious until they gave me liquid glucose and an IV. YouTube's most one is going to hook up with a Latina 10, 10, 10 tomorrow. My advice to you, you YouTube's most wanted is watch out for monkey pox and don't take it where it don't belong. Blessed heart, I agree with you to a point, but most bodybuilders I know are pretty tough. If you're lifting heavy, you know, and you're eating good and you're sleeping good, believe me, you're going to be fighting a lot better than the average dope smoking, beer drinking, video game playing, junk food eating, bar fly that gets a couple hours of sleep if they're lucky. Luke Oren, how the F am I single? <clears throat> I'm like one of those gals. I haven't found the right one. And the right one is a tall woman over six feet tall, young enough to bear children. Who's a Christian. 
does not believe in abortion, does not believe in feminism, and believes in making herself as attractive and sexy as possible for a man. And me, I don't have the financial wherewithal right now to be able to have something like that. That's the way I look at it. But who knows? Andrew Kuharchik, there's nothing great about Kenny Pickett. Nothing. I'm not talking about his hands either. This he's in the NFL now. And the Heinz Field change, it's good because they're getting more money. Who the hell cares? Only a Pittsburgh Steeler fan with their traditions would care. There's this people, type of people up there that want Bill Cower to come back and coach the team. David M., how much do you spend on groceries? Surprisingly, a lot less than people might believe. Thank you, Jake Etch. H. What do I fear the most? Going to hell, as all maniacs should. And not being able to fulfill your purpose on this life. Like, let me give you an example. When I see Martin Fitzwater, the Martian, even at my age, I want to have the same dedication as he does. I want to live the clean living lifestyle he does, the masculine presence he does, the one that goes balls out and doesn't care what anybody else thinks. And perfect role model for the youth. And he's affecting the youth in a good way. You don't see him doing cookie cutter activities like some of these other guys do. No. He's training with the best. I'm talking about Branch Warren. Who I'm sure was told umpteen times, oh, why are you training so hard? You're retired. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to die. It's like, come on. We know why people are dying. And I'm not really going to say it right now, but we know. And... The worst thing people do is not getting their sleep, not getting their nutrition, not getting their proper hydration, and not having living a spiritual lifestyle that identifies himself as a sinner, identifies his time on earth as temporary. And those that know for a fact that they will be entering eternal heaven. Frank Farmer from Chattanooga, Tennessee, That's a good thing, Frank. Always good to get away from looking at a screen. So I guess back to school real soon. Those kids need some straightening out to do. Whoa, there he is, the modern day Winston Churchill, who I was very impressed by his one year progress pictures today. He posted on Instagram, I believe under the Adam McLeod Instagram I think he has two, the modern day Winston Churchill being one. And very impressive. And remember, this is after he won the, that boxing match. So he's even more dangerous. And the quadricep development is great. As is his posture, I'm very impressed. Because not only did he added muscle mass, he lost body fat, gained agility cardiovascularly. And over the age of 40, was zero. And I assure you, zero PEDs. Who does that anymore? And he's also in the Florida heat and humidity, which actually, it's pre- it can be really strong, but there's some parts of the country now, and probably England is actually worse than that now. But in any event, and then be able to, do what else he does is being a father and an AEW employee, plus holding down a regular job. That's pretty impressive. OG Ghost has a funny story. I, I like this one. Listen to this. When OG Ghost was in the army, he was 
a sign to get this lifelong video game nerd in the shape. And I'll never forget, he said, one day you must be a masochist. All because I love working out. <laughs> when you see some fat slob gamer eating junk food, the normal thing for us to say is you must be a masochist. How could you look in the mirror eating this swill and living in a fantasy world without training, without getting a pump, without sweating? Ooh. Would I return to my old job if I had the chance? Yes, I would. Right now? Yes. Yes, I would. I miss that free available food. I tell you what. That's how it gets so big. Robert Banks, it's funny you said that. I was at the bank in Delray a couple years ago. It was a Wells Fargo on Atlantic Avenue and Military Trail. And I saw Debbie DeAndre, and she had toned it down quite a bit. She was very feminine looking. She was wearing a sundress and she wasn't showing any definition, but for a woman that age, she was close to or over 60. She looked like she was in her twenties. And I believe she went off the androgens and went on the proper female stack, the female PED stack, which I believe is a certain ratio of estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, which is just a small amount, which helps with a woman's sex drive and prevents menopause. So thanks for coming on the live, Martin. I had no idea you were a maniac. How about you call yourself Martin the Martian Maniac Fitzwater? And looking forward to seeing the Texas Pro thanks for being a freak and a role model. Jake H, can you tell you, me us one of your craziest experiences? I know you were full of them. Uh, I would have to say the first time I went to work at the Trapeze Swingers Club, coming into the club, having great, great quality meal by certified chefs for free before we started the shifts work in the door just a bunch of regular people coming in and then we finally got to the playroom we're in Robzilla and there's about a couple hundred people in there naked going at it that would have to take the cake I couldn't believe it not to promote the place because I feel it is demonic I mean, <laughs> you see eight to 18 year old girls, gorgeous, something like something out of a high school sweetheart look, participating, looking at people, see everything in there, all types. A lot of NPC and some IFPB competitors, of course, which I will not divulge their names, but one name that didn't mind for me to divulge was the Olympic gold medalist, Lindsey Vaughn, who put on a little weight. Thoughts on Ric Flair's last match? He needs another one. Rick needs another one. He still should wrestle. He's too young for that. I want to see him and Vince go at it about 10 years. Well, Vince will be probably what? Mid to late eighties. Yeah, Ehi, I mean, when you're getting free food as well as a paycheck, that's as good as gold. And that female administrator that terminated me, I forgive her, but I can't forget it. Do I think Brad used to bully Jason? I only believe someone can be bullied if they let somebody bully them. OG Ghost said it would be great if they put, I'm assuming you say that what you meant to say, most junkies and alcoholics into a medically induced coma for a month so they didn't have to suffer through the withdrawals. 
they would, but it's too dangerous. Well, I'm sure they could perfect the method so it's not so dangerous. And it definitely sounds like an alternative to me. Oh, careful with that fax. Eugene said they did this privately funded here in the UK. Well, how did it go in the UK? Brad kicked Jason in the gym. I don't remember that 69 Chud. Lenny Brad told me you can train at his place anytime. All right, we're going to find out. Frank says, from a psychological standpoint, what did you learn most about working at the trapeze club? I learned a lot psychologically. I've learned that women are perverts too. Uh, I learned that alcohol and drugs lessen inhibitions in many ways. And I, I, when it's promoted as legal, normal, human beings are basically animals. I mean, I've seen, it's sad to say, people's mothers. I mean, they would sit and tell me this, sitting naked or over the bar, drinking. They would say, if only their kids knew where we were at now. And I was like, oh, my God. Lots of school teachers, tons of military, police, firemen. I mean, when you think the whole fire force is on it, it's going there. As well as soccer moms housewives the most rowdy bunch ever was members of the israeli military were on vacation in the area and they came in and we almost had an all-out brawl there was about 10 12 or 15 of them that's the subject of another live although i did touch it on it in the past and let me just say this rob zilla took out almost half of the Israeli military. He, almost, he literally almost killed some, killed one of them. So, <laughs> Ric Flair is 18 forever, but his liver is still 103, unfortunately. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Jason. Oh, I've spoken to Jason, but that's when Prince visit me in the hospital and he had Jason on the phone. Jason said he was doing great as far as that goes, but you know, deep down he had a passion for this and I know a lot of people miss him and looking forward to his return. Barbecue sauce. What a great post-workout meal. Just like big Ronnie Coleman, a New York strip steak. Robert Banks, hope your food's digested go to war. Thanks. Thanks again. Yes, I've been going to the gym. Yeah. Relax and breathe. I'll give Brad a text, see if we can work something out for this weekend. Barbecue sauce says Trump gave a big shout out to Lou Ferrigno in today's press release. Great. I got to see that. Because I was under the impression Lou was his uh, in charge of the President's Council on Physical Fitness, which is a good uh, nomination for sure. Quick Pump says Rob Zilla was the one man SS. <laughs> well, you got to understand, not only was Rob really jacked up on the vitamin T, the two vitamin T's, when you have the girl that you love working as a bartender and seeing men <laughs> hit on her. I don't know how he composed himself as well as he did. Of course, literally, uh, and this is no joke, I've seen him almost kill with his bare hands about five men <laughs> and somehow managed to get away from it. Well, of course, when they asked me what happened, I said, well, nothing. <laughs>
Yes, all bodybuilders, all maniacs. Simply ask the Lord to deliver you from demons and protect you. I agree, Chuck E. Cheese Ranch. God knows what Brad's doing without my guidance and observations. Yes, Professor Gaines. Put your head down when you're doing dips and keep the, have a more narrower grip on a bar when you're doing dips. Great for the triceps. Thank you for the DM barbecue sauce. That makes it easier for me to watch it while eating, sleeping, and growing. Now, a few things I want to talk about as far as the real way to express masculinity is I express the cookie cutter ways. Number one, you see me talking on these lives or in big... Uh, big Lenny show videos, but this is not the real me. I'm very silent. Number two, don't look around, sort of look straight ahead and use peripheral vision. Always walk confidently, shoulders back, head up, eyes forward, but make sure you're aware of where you're at and how you, who's in your surroundings and never back yourself into a corner. Not being paranoid, you're just being vigilant. Number two, if you carry a weapon, don't tell anybody. Number three, dress modestly. Let your body be the fashion, which means an outstanding physique will look good in Walmart clothes. An outstanding physique looks good behind a Toyota. An outstanding physique, healthy skin, healthy eyes don't require jewelry. Heaven forbid to cover that healthy skin up with a tattoo. And for those of you that have it, there's plenty of good removal services. But a lot of you that have it, you lot of you, what you can do is tell, tell the youngsters, hey, I got this. I wasn't thinking I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to get it off one of these days. Yes, add melarina. Cialis is not only a great product to use in a relationship, but using every other day is was great for pumps because it's vasodilator. It helps with the blood flow and I can lower blood pressure to a certain point. That's true, James Stack. A good physique doesn't necessarily need PEDs, but they're available. Used correctly, they can make you more healthy. And they will take you to the next level, provided training and sleeping is on par. Barbecue sauce wears Hugo Boss clothes. He designed the uniforms for the Nazis. Yes, I'm well aware of that barbecue sauce, particularly those black SS uniforms. How do I feel about Jay's weight loss? Well, he lost some fat, which is great. He lost a lot of water, which is helping him, but he'll put the muscle back on. And I don't think he'll get excess water retention or body fat, which is good. But I expect him to become, get that strength back pretty soon, which is going to help him in the long run. I truly believe, and I hope he's able to do this, is I have not, try not to be so on a truck sitting so long. I personally believe that's what caused the clots. That's just my opinion. James Stack, I'm going to try Big J's uh, deadlift form, but I may need to do extensive stretching to be able to get that range of motion.
OG ghost used correctly and have a good source of PEDs. Is that will actually improve your life? I, I've said it. So if they don't like it, too bad. Gary G says, I look more alive than usual. Thank you. And another way to express masculinity in a proper manly way is to speak normally, dress normally, look normally, except for the physique. And the old saying, and there's a lot of cookie cutter sayings, but they've been around a lot and they, they pass the test of time is speak softly, but carry a big stick which means you protect yourself, your loved ones, and your property 110%. And unless you're in wrestling or some type of promotional thing, no need to brag. Just do your talking on the stage like Martin, the Martian maniac, Fitzwater is going to do at the Texas Pro or the football field or the ring or anything else, any type of position you are where you're employed, do your talking that way through performance. And the final thing on how to be masculine in the appropriate way is never ever complain. And unless you're doing and don't speak negative about somebody, speak negative about a quality, not the person itself. And finally, always have a higher authority and answer to that higher authority, which is God. No man can be masculine or anything else without a higher authority. So thanks everyone for contributing tonight and with the grace of our creator, we'll be back tomorrow. Right.